Hi guys, it's KJM and I'm back with another countdown to Christmas movie review. Last night at 8 p.m. Eastern, Sealed with a List premiered starting Kate Finlay and Evan Roderick. You may know Katie um, from the Bridge movies and I loved the Bridge movies. She also did, I think, a movie last year that, you know, where like she fell and then, you know, went back in time and had to decide, does she have the life she really wants? I didn't like that movie either. Just like I didn't really care for Sealed with a Kiss. So I can't even remember the name of that movie. You guys know Evan. I think he did Autumn in the City um, last fall with Amy T. Garden. And that was a cute movie. All right, let's just start off. I hate having to go into hair on Hallmark, but I think Katie is absolutely adorable, but this haircut is not working for her. Once again, we're back in the 1980s and now we're doing curly bangs to the side. I need a moment. I need a moment. I don't like attacking hair, but like this was not the best hairstyle. This, and I actually have <laughs> gone on through the post for this movie throughout the week as it was being advertised. And there are several Hallmarkies who agree with me that this is not a flattering haircut, Katie. It's a no, don't let Hallmark do this to you again. Now, the premise for this movie was kind of weird. Like, I don't understand why this movie even took place. What about it says Christmas? Cause it was really kind of a New Year's Eve theme type of thing. And, um, yeah, I've already forgotten like some of the characters' names. Give me a second. Okay, Carly and Wyatt, that's the characters' names. Not that it matters. Like I said, I'm giving Sealed with a list a six out of 10. It wasn't the worst movie I saw on Hallmark, but honest to God, they could have put round and round last week's Hanukkah movie on this particular Saturday night and just put this on one of this and put this on the Sunday last Sunday and that would have worked better for me once again y'all need to hire me and Megan Megan will get your programming straight and I definitely will help y'all with your writing uh you know critiquing like y'all just need to go ahead and holler at us like Hallmark we can we can hook y'all up okay so Katie noted this haircut I love you um, and then this is a second Hallmark movie that you've had uh, within the last year or so that I'm not too thrilled about because I just didn't understand the point of this movie. Um, I thought the writing was super slow. The only thing I really liked was the kiss at the final end because Carly actually kisses Wyatt and I think it's great when a woman is in a movie and she's deciding when romance can enter in her life instead of her just waiting for some guy to decide if he really likes her. Carly made that decision like Wyatt is my man. I'm kissing my man. And that was actually the best part of the movie to me. All right, let's talk about the premise of this movie and I'm going to try to be enthused about it. But, you know, a six is a six means just skip it. And I haven't even heard from Megan yet. I'm trying to see if she'll even make it 15 minutes into this movie because she too hates Katie's haircut. So don't think it's just me. Megan also hates Katie's haircut and a bunch of other hallmarkies. And Katie, we're not saying you're not pretty. We're not saying that you're not talented. We're just saying that you can do better on Hallmark. Okay. So Carly works for this company and she thinks she's about to get a promotion, but instead the boss promotes his son, Wyatt, his lazy son who's just inherited, you know, who just lives off the family's fortune and his trust fund. And he's not even good at his job, but now he's going to be Carly's boss. So before Carly's best friend, um, you know, went off to Italy uh, she promised her that she was actually going to change her life, quit her job, and start following her passion, which is to design dresses. We see the year goes by and Carly apparently doesn't do anything, but now her best friend is coming home for Christmas and Carly decides she needs to make a list and she needs help with that list. Only Wyatt makes a huge mistake and doesn't check a report. And some shirts go out and they're not made the best way. Like, 
Carly could just rip them in half with her fingers. And so Carly takes the blame for Wyatt's mistake and she gets fired from her job. So she checks it off her list, quit her job, but quit and fired are kind of two different things, Carly. Um, but potato, potato, I guess, right? So anyway, um, after she quits her job, she realizes that she needs to take charge of her life and start doing things that she loves again. She starts to design a dress and she makes a list, hence sealed with a list. A list of things that she needs to do for the next 31 days to revamp her life for the new year. Carly enlists Wyatt, of all people, to help her because she felt like, you know, since she took a hit for him, he can help her keep her accountable with this list. She wants to, you know, pick up running. So she runs a marathon and actually wins it. She wants to design a dress. That one thing went up in smokes. The dress actually goes up in smokes right around Christmas, but she does design something else and sends it out to a bunch of designers. Now she's just waiting. So Wyatt helps Carly do all these amazing things on her list and Carly helps him become a better director at his father's um, company and also helps him grow into manhood. She helps him get a new apartment so he can stop living off his family's fortune because daddy done cut him off from the trust fund and now Wyatt has to really step up to the plate. Wyatt does rise to the occasion thanks to Carly and he starts to be a very good director for his father's company but realizes he wants to go out, go out on his own and do something that he really wants to do and his father respects that. We also see uh, Wyatt and his father reunite and they start to have a better relationship thanks to Carly. Carly's best friend comes in, in town. She loves Wyatt. She definitely sees that Wyatt and Carly have chemistry and, you know, and the story just goes on from there. I don't, so this is another one of those movies that I really feel like it was about the new year, about New Year's resolutions and not really about Christmas. They just kind of threw Christmas in there. Um, but, you know, by, by New Year's Eve, we see that Carly and Wyatt, they're going to be a couple. She plants that kiss on him. If I seem like I'm running out of energy, it's like legitimately because this movie it, I don't know I just I wanted to like it because I like the two leads but it just fell flat the writing the acting I didn't know what about this says holiday season except unless you're talking about New Year's um I just thought this is one of the movies that should just be buried on a Sunday um but hey here we are so let me know if you watch sealed with a list let me know how you felt about it like I said, a 6 out of 10. And I think I'm being really kind with that scoring. But because there's worse, excuse me, because there's been worse movies like Never Been Christ and Haul Out the Holly Lit Up, I'm being more forgiving on Sealed with a List because there were some moments in this movie and there were some opportunities where the movie could get better, but it just didn't get better for me. And that's why I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. It's KJM. It's Countdown to Christmas. And we've got one more Countdown to Christmas movie coming up. And the, tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, if you haven't seen my preview on tonight, Friends and Family Christmas, um, uh, if you haven't seen my preview, uh, please go to uh, one of my videos that I uploaded, I think, this morning or like, and definitely see the preview for tonight's last Countdown to Christmas movie. We have one more Miracles of Christmas movie that will premiere 8 p.m. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. It's from Daystring. I think it's called Miracles at Bethlehem, PA. I don't have a lot of hope for it, but we're just going to go ahead and see. Miracles of Christmas has been having a pretty strong season. So, I mean, most of the movies have been eight, nines, and tens. So I'll be open to Miracle at, at Bethlehem, PA, or whatever. Anyway, it's KJM. I'm out of energy. I hate doing these reviews back to back, but I have a story for you on why I had to. All right. I'll see you guys at the next review, and I'm out. Thank you once again for choosing me to guide you through this Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa season. All right, guys. Bye.